Have you heard about Apophis 99942? This asteroid discovered in 2004 is set to make a close encounter with Earth in 2029. Scientists believe that there is currently a 1 in 150,000 chance of it hitting our planet. But what exactly is Apophis? And why is it causing such a buzz in the scientific community? Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid measuring about 370 meters in diameter. It is named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and destruction, fitting for an asteroid that could potentially cause catastrophic damage if it were to collide with Earth. Now let's take a step back. Asteroids are a common feature in our cosmic neighborhood. Most of them are found in the asteroid belt, a region of space located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. But every now and then, one of these cosmic wanderers strays from its usual path and comes a little too close for comfort. This is not a product of wild imagination or the plot of a science fiction movie, it's a reality that scientists across the globe grapple with every day. They scan the skies, track these celestial bodies and calculate their trajectories, all in an effort to protect our home from any potential threats. When we talk about asteroids and their potential threat to Earth, one name that often comes up is Apophis. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid that has piqued the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Why is there so much attention being paid to this particular asteroid? That is because it has been on our radar since 2004, when it was first discovered. Since then, it's been the subject of countless studies and even some alarming headlines, and for good reason. It will approach Earth at a distance of about 19,000 miles in April 2029, closer than some of our satellites. As of now, the odds of a direct hit are slim, but even the possibility is enough to keep the scientific community on their toes. Every bit of data gathered, every calculation made, brings us one step closer to understanding and potentially averting this unseen threat. On June 19, 2004, astronomers discovered an asteroid that would soon become a household name. It was a day like any other at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. The telescopes were trained on the heavens, capturing cosmic phenomena far beyond our earthly realm. But on this particular day, something unusual caught the eye of Roy A. Tucker, David J. Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi, our three astronomy musketeers. They spotted an object moving against the static backdrop of distant stars. This object was later to be known as 99942 Apophis, named after the ancient Egyptian deity of chaos. At first it appeared to be just another asteroid among the countless others that inhabit our solar system. But as they observed its movement and calculated its trajectory, they realized that this was no ordinary space rock. News of the discovery quickly spread across the scientific community. Initial observations showed that Apophis was approximately 370 meters in diameter. That's about four football fields end to end. But the size wasn't what made Apophis special. It was its path. Initial calculations suggested that Apophis was on an orbit that could potentially bring it close to Earth. Very close. The scientific community was abuzz with this new discovery. While some reacted with excitement at the chance to study such a close approaching asteroid, others were more cautious, recognizing the potential threat it could pose. Predictions and calculations were made, revised and made again as more data was gathered. There were debates, discussions and a whole lot of number crunching. But through it all one thing was clear. This asteroid required constant monitoring. As we learned more about this cosmic wanderer, we realized that our initial fascination might be overshadowed by a more pressing question. What if Apophis was on a collision course with Earth? But that, dear listeners, is a story for another scene. Tracking an asteroid is no easy task, but it's crucial for predicting its future path. So how exactly do we track a space rock like Apophis? Well, it's a bit like playing cosmic detective. The first tool in our astronomical arsenal is radar, the same technology used by meteorologists and air traffic controllers, only supercharged. Big powerful radar dishes send out radio waves towards the asteroid. These waves bounce back after hitting the asteroid, carrying with them valuable information about its size, shape and even its surface features. Next up, we've got telescopes. Not the kind you might have in your backyard, but massive high-powered ones often located in remote areas to escape the light pollution of cities. These telescopes capture the faint light reflected off the asteroid, helping us determine its position and velocity. But it's not just about the hardware, it's also about math. Astronomers use complex calculations, based on Newton's laws of motion and gravity, to predict the asteroid's future trajectory. This is known as orbital mechanics, 
and it's a bit like trying to predict where a thrown ball will land, only on a much much larger scale. Now this might sound straightforward but it's anything but. Space is vast, and even a tiny error in measurements can lead to a huge mistake in predicting an asteroid's path. That's why scientists often track these objects over years, even decades, refining their predictions with each new observation. Despite the challenges, we've made incredible strides in asteroid tracking. We've moved from rough estimates to precise calculations, from grainy images to detailed radar maps. Our ability to predict the path of asteroids has improved by leaps and bounds, thanks to advancements in technology and our understanding of the universe. With these tools at our disposal, we've been able to predict Apophis's path with remarkable accuracy. So, where is Apophis headed? Well, let's dive into that. The projected path of the asteroid Apophis is one of the most fascinating aspects of this cosmic traveler. You see, Apophis is currently slated for a close approach to Earth in April 2029. Now, when we say close, we're talking in astronomical terms. To put it into perspective, it's closer than some of our own satellites orbiting Earth. Now, don't start packing your bags for Mars just yet. While the path of Apophis will bring it near to us, scientists are confident that it will not collide with Earth. These predictions are based on some of the most advanced tracking technologies and mathematical models we have at our disposal today. But what exactly happens during this close approach? Well, as Apophis nears Earth, it will be visible to the naked eye. For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, it will appear as a speck of light streaking across the sky, much like a shooting star. As it continues its path, Apophis will pass over the Atlantic Ocean and move towards the United States. Apophis is not just another asteroid, in fact it's a near-Earth asteroid which means it orbits the Sun in close proximity to our planet. Now the first thing to note about Apophis is its size, this is no small space rock. Described as a three and a half football field long beast, it's about 370 meters in diameter. That, my friends, is larger than the Eiffel Tower. But it's not just the size of Apophis that's concerning, it's also what it's made of. Apophis is a type of asteroid known as an SQ spectral type. This means it's made up of a mixture of nickel, iron and other metals. So imagine a massive lump of metal hurtling through space at incredible speeds. That's Apophis. Now let's talk about potential impact. If, and it's a big if, Apophis were to collide with Earth, the effects would be catastrophic. We're talking about an explosion more than 65,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. And the energy released? That would be equivalent to over a billion tons of TNT. But before we all start building underground bunkers, let's remember the odds. The chances of Apophis hitting Earth on April 2029 are about 1 in 150,000. To put that into perspective, you're more likely to win the lottery than to see Apophis collide with Earth. However, despite these slim odds, the possibility of such a catastrophic event has led to increased interest in asteroid detection and deflection techniques. While the odds of a collision are slim, the potential impact of Apophis is not something to be taken lightly. What would happen if Apophis were to hit Earth? Now that's a question that can spike the adrenaline in any space enthusiast or frankly anyone who calls Earth home. Let's delve into this hypothetical scenario, shall we? Imagine it's April 2029. Apophis, this colossal space rock, is hurtling toward our planet at breakneck speed. If it were to collide with Earth, the impact would release energy equivalent to more than 1 billion tons of TNT. That's over 65,000 times the power of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. The immediate aftermath would be disastrous. The impact site would be obliterated instantly, creating a crater approximately 3 miles wide and half a mile deep. The shock wave would flatten everything within a radius of 50 miles. Fires ignited by the intense heat would spread rapidly, causing further destruction. But the catastrophe wouldn't end there. The impact would send billions of tons of dust and debris into the atmosphere, blocking out sunlight and plunging the world into what's known as an impact winter. This sudden drop in temperature could lead to a global famine, as crops fail and ecosystems collapse. Now this might sound like the plot of a Hollywood disaster movie but, it's a scenario that scientists take seriously. The good news is that the odds of Apophis colliding with Earth in 2029 are extremely low, about 1 in 150,000, and even if it were on a collision course with our planet, our understanding of asteroid deflection strategies has advanced significantly. While we cannot predict the future with absolute certainty, we can prepare for it. So, rest assured, the world's space agencies are keeping a close eye on Apophis and other celestial bodies that might pose a threat to our planet. After all, it's always better to be safe than sorry. As we look to the future, 
what can we expect from Apophis? The future of Apophis is a hot topic among astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The asteroid, named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, has been a subject of intrigue since it was first discovered in 2004, and with its next close approach to Earth predicted for April 2029, it's no wonder why. Scientists predict that Apophis will pass within 19,000 miles of our planet. This is an incredibly close shave in astronomical terms, closer than some of our own satellites, but despite the close proximity, experts assure us that the chance of an impact is exceedingly small. But what if? What if Apophis were to collide with Earth? Well, our best defense is knowledge. By studying asteroids like Apophis, we can gather critical data that could help us prepare for potential asteroid impacts in the future. We've even started to develop potential deflection strategies like the DART mission led by NASA, which aims to change the course of an asteroid by crashing a spacecraft into it. And what about after the 2029 approach? Apophis will continue its journey around the Sun, with future flybys expected in the years 2036 and 2046. But with each passing year, our understanding of this celestial neighbor grows and with it, our ability to predict and potentially prevent any future threats. The future of Apophis is not one of doom and gloom. Rather, it's a future where we continue to learn, grow, and prepare. Apophis in all its chaotic glory serves as a reminder of the vast and unpredictable nature of the universe and our place within it. While the threat of Apophis is real, our knowledge and preparation give us hope for the future. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content.